matching 13 on your side. Now that mask wearing has become a part of our everyday life, we're starting to see a few medical conditions associated with them. First, it was mask acne. Now doctors are seeing an increase in a condition called chalazion. Dr. Leslie Norris with Grand Rapids Ophthalmology joins us now to talk about this condition. What is chalazion? Hi, uh, chalazion is a bump that forms at the lash line. It's due to a blockage of the oil glands that are present there. Uh, it can be an infectious process. It can be an inflammatory process, but essentially it causes a, a red uh, painful bump right there on the lid. And have you seen an increase in patients having this eye problem? Uh, actually, yes, we have seen uh, quite an increase over the last year or so. So what causes it? So that blockage at the, at the base of the lash is uh, most often an inflammatory condition. It's something where the lid uh, gets irritated or it gets inflamed, and then bacteria can present themselves there in that inflamed bump. And so the oil in that gland backs up into the bump and then causes the chalazion. So, so there have been some, some suggestions through studies that a lot of this is being caused by the bacteria in our mouth getting blown up into our eyes and really creating that infection. I, and I think that is a, a very accurate theory. I think in addition to that, that breath that's blowing up also does cause an evaporation of the tear film, which leads to inflammation as well and sets you up for uh, getting something that you probably ordinarily wouldn't struggle with. And so you have been giving out some interesting recommendations on how to prevent this. <laughs> yes. So our typical recommendation for uh, all of this time has been something called eyelid hygiene, where you scrub along that lash line, removing the bacteria that uh, cuts down on some of the inflammation. Uh, but in addition to that, doctors have been recommending things like increase in mouthwash usage to decrease the bacteria in our mouths so that that kind of thing is not blowing up towards the eyelid. Um, and artificial tears, really restoring that uh, that dry eye uh, problem. Because the breath can actually dry out your eye. It's true. And we're seeing uh, an increase in that as well. I think that uh, it's just a mechanical motion of that breath kind of moving its way up past your nose. Uh, obviously, we have all kinds of mask fitting issues, um, readjustments, this kind of thing. We're putting a lot of bacteria from our hands and things back up near our faces. We're adjusting these things throughout a day as well. All right, well, thank you, Dr. Norris, for talking with us about this today. We're seeing okay. a lot of our friends and family having this condition. And so if you would like to learn more about Shalazian and what you can do to prevent it, I've got information for you on 13onyourside.com.